everyone, it's Nico from the blog documentingsimpleliving.com. It's a bright and summer day here. And so I thought because strawberries are in abundance right now that it would be a great time to share with you my family's favorite recipe for making strawberry kefir smoothies. Now, if you're here, I'm sure that you already know what kefir is, but if not, it is a fermented milk and it's really high in probiotics. So really good for your gut health. Kefir in the store is usually quite expensive and the strength of the probiotics in the store, just because there needs to be shelf stability, is usually a bit weaker. So when you make it at home, it's far more economical and really easy. And it's also much more potent. I like to add strawberries to kefir because it makes the kefir sweeter. Homemade kefir especially because of how potent it is can be quite tangy and sour. It's definitely an acquired taste. And so by adding banana and strawberries and you can add like maple syrup even and honey, you have a sweeter tasting kefir, which is really delicious and perfect for summertime. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add to my blender about two cups of kefir that I've just strained off. And then I'm going to chop up a few strawberries. We have some that are about to go bad, so I'm gonna use about five of them in this smoothie. And I'm also gonna add about half of a banana. I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of linseed powder or flaxseed powder. Linseed is super high in protein and fiber, and so it's a great addition to this it's more fruity smoothie to bulk it out and will make it more of a robust sort of snack. Now I'm just gonna blend it and I'll show you what it looks like. You can also use kefir smoothies to use up any fruit that is about to go bad. And it's also a great way to get more greens into your diet or your family's diet. You can add a handful of spinach to a smoothie with banana and maple syrup and people won't even taste the spinach. And at the same time, you're giving them tons of probiotics and tons of iron and fiber from the spinach. Strawberry kefir smoothies are great for summertime because you can use fresh berries, but there are tons of variations of smoothies that you can make throughout the year that are seasonal. So I have a recipe on documenting simple living that shows you how to make a butternut squash kefir smoothie, which sounds kind of odd, but it's quite delicious actually, and it's perfect for autumn and fall. I have a berry and kale smoothie recipe on the blog, as well as peanut butter and banana smoothie. There are endless variations that you can consider. So if you're interested in having a few ideas, make sure to go to the link in the description. I've linked directly to the post with a few different kefir smoothie ideas. Thank you so much for stopping by today and I will speak to you in the next Documenting Simple Living video. Thank you.